Hello and welcome back to Let's Try We're Trying Viewfinder. I've been really uh, looking forward to this one. Um, if you know about it, you know why. But if you don't know about it, um, this is a first person puzzle game involving capturing perspectives, I think is like the best way to put it. It's not really like, um, uh, I think it was called liminal or subliminal. It's a little bit different. But um, first, I want to find out, please. Yes, thank you. Appreciate it. Time to explore. This game's in a, been in development for quite a while, and I've been really looking forward to it. I'm afraid the butter flavor is a work in progress. We're coating pillows to watch the footage popcorn next. I appreciate the subtitles for small text. That's actually really nice. You can build anything, yet you start to build a lab. There's no time like the present. To think all the wonders of the world can be dabbled with as long as you build the right space. Whether Hiraya wants to admit it or not, Mirren is truly brilliant. Now, how do I get out of here? We're jumping over filing cabinets. I mean, look <laughs> at this game. This I do love a good um, first-person puzzler. I really uh, enjoyed Talos Principle. I'm really looking forward to the sequel. Oh God! Whoa, you okay? Okay. Uh, your vitals look good. I guess we know now that falling doesn't hurt. <laughs> That's some good news, at least. Hold to rewind. There must be a way to get back up there. Okay. <laughs> That's, uh, that's, I didn't actually know about that feature. Can we go across this bridge? Yes, we can. What's an old photograph doing here? Pick up photo. Hold right click to aim, then press left click. So here's, here's the main, uh, feature of the game. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, did you just shift reality? We can go and explore this. Welcome. A teleporter. Glad you made it in one piece. Wow. That's really cool. Teleporter needs to be powered. Pick up. Where does this go? We don't know yet. I think we need two of those. Is that the deal? Yeah. Let's grab this one. Throw it down there. No, we need it's three of them. Working. Looks like we need one more. Another photograph. Not all. You know I cannot stand these types of activity. Hiraya, my love. Please, hold still. What do I even do with my hands? Just relax them and try to smile. A portrait in a digital landscape. Tell me, <laughs> is this technically traditional or digital? Well done. Stop moving. Smile. So we have a photograph. Wait a minute. What does it say? It's so quiet here. We have a photograph of this environment, and this environment included a battery. So when we put this, that environment back in the world, we get the second battery. And so we have a, maybe a small taste of what kind of puzzles we can expect with this kind of gimmick. It's, it seems uh, cruel to call it a gimmick. I really appreciate what, what we're, uh, the devs are going for with this one. So what do we got? This one looks upside down. Oh, we can rotate it. Oh god, okay. Well, let's um, try it like normal for now. I wonder how they've achieved that. I mean, I wonder like it looks like nothing changes. I wonder if the photo even in this state is literally already the environment. 
like they've basically just um i forget what it's the term is but when you're looking at a model in exactly um, a flat perspective so this one we're gonna have to rotate in order to actually have like a normal ground i wonder what happens if like like if we threw this somewhere oh my god so the objects have fallen yeah, off the ground that's really cool but can we like pick it up again like we've we've ruined this puzzle now Oh, I like how even the background is like in the skybox, including the clouds and stuff. That is so cool. Yeah, no, but for real, um, oh, I, I see. So we've got a teleporter. How does it? Oh, I, oh, right, 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 right. We've got a rewind. How do, how do I do that again? Tab shift. How do I, how do I rewind? I completely forgot. Oh, R. You can double tap R to rewind to the last marker. Okay, so that's that's how we can get this back. And there's our battery. Those mugs are doing a little tiny dance. The tiniest little dance. So we, we can't get across that. So yeah, this is where we we uh, find out we can um, use these photographs to literally create bridges. In fact, this one is of a bridge. So we can like match the ground. Hold to a line. Follow the gray brick road. That's so cool. That is so dang nifty. It's even like cut into the ground a little bit. But now we've we can't get past that, right? I'd consider coating better tea leaves. Tea time was a success. So how does one get in here? I'm assuming. Hmm. Well, I mean, let's have a quick look around. Remember to water your plants. We don't have any more photographs, so I think we we do need the photograph that we just used. So let's get it back. How would one like could we hmm We can't jump over that gap. Oh, do we have a photograph here that I didn't notice? No, we don't. Hmm. That seemed right. I mean, I'm not sure if they would throw a curveball this early. But they might. I'm not seeing anything over here. Oh, wait, never mind. There's a photograph right here. So we can we can put a doorway in here. But there's yet another gimmick here. I mean, we're, we're using um, pre-made photographs, right? And I do know that there's, you know, Maybe this this changes soon. Oh, hey, we got a cat. Can you pet the cat? Can you pet the cat, though? Can't pet the cat. It's fine. Hey, we, we got a little rubber ducky. The computer hiding in the little bushes here. I love the design of certain elements. It's got a vibe. So, oh, I see. We're trying to get up there. So we're going to have to use this to create an extra ledge, maybe? Yeah, like that. So 
So we've got a very long distance we need to travel now. Huge bridge. What do we have to work with? We've got... Oh, I see. A room... Uh, we've got an environment with a photograph in it. I've been working on a series... Okay, we can just show the text. Um, I've been working on a series of paintings, one to represent each of us. It's a great way to document history. Hira Ya has been rather shy about about it, and Mirren has avoided the conversation altogether. I have to look to Chi Leung for support. He promised to help, but only if I beat him in Mahjong, which is entirely unfair. Hopefully, with the help of a cute kitty, I might be able to cheat. Sometimes being a little devious is okay, especially if it's for the greater good, like art. I don't know. Find a better gradient. Mirren prefers cooler tones to her for her workspace. We've got a very artistry theme going on. Very artsy theme. Okay, so I assume we're going to want to make use of all of our distance here. So let's use this longest bridge here. Start with this. The teleporter was destroyed. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I see. Oh, I can't just like build a bridge using photos. Because then I'll accidentally destroy the photo. So I gotta, like, kind of work with it. I gotta not directly, you know, destroy it. So we'll go, we'll work like this. Pick up this photo. And that works because the, the axis is actually at an angle. Um, we'll continue... Actually, we can just, like, use the lines as a guide. Like that. We got one last photo. It's the same photo, like, several times. It just keeps going. It's the same photo. So it's the same photo that includes the same photo. So you can just, like, keep going forever. You could be very fractal about this. So we're just like moving back through all of these paintings. That's really cool. What do we got here? Anything cool? Stop messing with the teleporter. It's not that difficult. You made it. It really wasn't that difficult. So what do we got here? A fairly larger painting. In fact, this one looks like a drawing. So things things are going to get a lot more interesting very quickly. I like that it even cuts through elements in the foreground. But look at this. This is so cool. I love that uh, it's even captured like the cross hatching. Now we're going for like, um, God, I can't remember, like almost a Mon Monet style. We got like a kind of blotchy painterly look. Oh, wow. We're really going through the gamut here. I didn't expect to see like a cartoon style. The little, uh, Musical chime is, is a nice touch. <laughs> the sound effects are so good. Are you? I found it. Now this was a funny one. <laughs> hmm. Not your usual style. You could say I was stretching my creative muscles. We got like sketch style. Everything is just made of paper. Can we enter the house? I come over the house. Can we can we draw something? Now we've got my vibe. We've got the uh, Legend of Grimrock style. Wow. I really didn't expect such a 
wide gamut of uh, of styles in this game. Is there something down there? What is this? Oh, that's a. <laughs> The photograph on the pixelated podium there feels like such a weird contrast. Like it's so sharp in comparison. So what do we got here? This is uh, sort of where we began. Skipping content not included in demo. <laughs> So here we go. Here's here's like, you know, like similar in like to, to portal, you know, you use other portals to, to solve puzzles at first and then you get your own portal gun, you know, and uh, this is not dissimilar. We've got a we, we've got our own portal gun now. So now check this out. This is this is really good. We've got a, a whole environment over there, but it's the wrong rotation. So I can take a picture. And then I can rotate it around so that it's the right orientation. Yeah, I mean, like, come on. Come on, Dole. And I, I do wonder about the limitations of this. Like, like, if I took a picture of the camera in this billboard, what what does that give us? Not much. <laughs> it's it, it's seems to have given us the environment behind it, feeling a little a bit turned around. Like, is that behind it? Yeah, it is. So it does seem to, like, capture environments behind environments. It's not just a photograph. Telebra teleporter needs to be upright. Okay, so... Take a picture. You can swap between photos and the camera using F. Oh, I see. And it maintains the uh, scale, you know. It is the correct scale no matter what. So even if you took a picture, it's a, that's why I say it's not super, super liminal or whatever that game was called. Because like, you know, if you could take a picture of something very far away and it seems very small, but it's going to be, it's going to output in the, you know, the, at the correct size. We can take a picture. We need that battery, right? So let's, um, can hold to a line, but what we, we kind of want it to be at an angle. Oh no, goodbye. Okay, let's, uh, let's undo that. But there's stairs here, so what if we went down these stairs and then aligned it like here so that we can grab it? Yeah, that's how we do. Did we obliterate half the level? I think we did. Might have even ruined the teleporter. Let's see what we destroyed. Oh, I know. The teleporter's right there. What if we... We could kill two birds with one stone because we can't access the teleporter right now. If we put this here, then we can cut a, a, around the teleporter and then also grab the battery we do need two batteries though but like what if we just took a picture of the battery thank you for playing the demo short demo but, um, you know, like, honestly, even playing the demo could be seen as spoilers. I think that it's, this is such a wonderful gimmick, such a, like, it, not gimmick, really, novelty, 
that um it, it seems a shame to to kind of like see it early without playing the game chronologically but um i'm 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 down this this is such a cool idea i i i can't wait to play more of this and i do love a good fps uh puzzle game so this is this is exactly my jam i'm really glad i did get to try some of it and i'm, I'm ready for more when it comes out uh, in full but uh, in any case this is viewfinder if you have played this and uh, have thoughts let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed this video definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.